Well, good morning, everybody. You may notice, and if you're a visitor, you don't know that we usually have communion rails here. But look at... We don't today. Welcome to Eden Prairie United Methodist Church. We're so happy to have you worshiping with us this morning. We are a vibrant and transformative faith community rooted in love, grace, and radical inclusivity of Jesus. I'm Pastor Linda McCullough. My pronouns are she and her. And welcome to this amazing faith community. Thank you for worshiping with us today. You came to worship, well, from two nudgings, either the nudging of the Holy Spirit or the nudging of a parent who's playing music today. Am I right, Barb? Barb, did you nudge them to come hear you today? We're our praying community, and uh, we would ask that if you have prayer requests, there are yellow cards in the, thank you, Bart. There are yellow cards in the pew seat ahead of you to go ahead and write that out. There's also a connect card that's in your bulletin, and we would ask you to fill that out as well. Gives us information about you, or you can go on and use the QR code on our page. We would love to have you partner with us in the work that we do, being a vibrant and transformative community. And by doing that, you can go ahead and you can follow the link on the Give tab. And we also have um, offering plates in the back of the sanctuary. Next week is Rally Sunday. So we're gonna have um, a cardboard carnival Um, Those of us who love skee-ball will be playing skee-ball as well as Whack-A-Mole Tim and Whack-A-Tim. And then we will also have the ring talks. So we have games already ready for you. Uh, We've been eyeing them. Staff has been eyeing them in the room that they are being stored for next Sunday. And it's going to be a great opportunity. We'll have food, games, and all kinds of fun for Rally Sunday. We also are giving these out. You need to bring it back next Sunday with your name on it, and we will have a drawing. So it will be, it will be super. So those of you who are with us every week know that during the summer of June, July, and August, we have been collecting pasta. Mary Beth, you want a happy dance for me? We made it. Our goal was to have 900 boxes of pasta go to the prop food shelf, and we succeeded in that. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It was fantastic for us. Our format for worship today is a little bit different than what you're used to. This is holiday format today. Um, We will have a hymn sing. The hymns have already been prepped and ready to go, and there were over 30 suggestions, and she narrowed it down into the list. So we are excited to have a hymn sing today, and we're excited to have the West Wind Five. The West Wing Five? Well, that's kind of a catchy name. Yeah. <laughs> the West Wing Five with us today in our worship service doing special music. So thank you. If you would please stand in body or spirit as we do the call to worship. The call to worship comes from our hymnal this morning, and it is um, based on John Wesley's words. Now, some of these may sound a little different, but it's the way that we can worship and sing. If you would, join me. Sing all. See that you join with the congregation as frequently as you can. Let not a slight degree of weakness or weariness. If it is a cross to you, take it up and you will find a blessing. Sing lustily and with good courage. Beware of singing as if you were half dead. So if you're tired this morning, shake it off. But lift your voice with strength. 
Be no more afraid of your voice now, nor more ashamed of its being heard than when you sung the songs of Satan. destroy the harmony, but strive to unite your voices together. So as to make one clear melodious sound. Sing in time. All right, we got it? <laughs> Sing in time. Whatever time is sung, be sure to keep it with it. Do not run before or, or stay behind, but attend closely to the leading voices. We do have song leaders today, so stay close to theirs and take care that you sing not too slow. This drawling way naturally steals on all who are lazy and a high time to drive it out among us. Sing all of your tunes as quick as we did it first. Above all, sing spiritually. Have an eye to God and every word sing. Aim to pleasing God more than yourself or any other creature in order to attend strictly the sense of what you sing. See that your heart is not carried away with the sound, but offered to God continually. So shall your singing be such that God will approve of here and reward you when God cometh in the clouds of heaven. Friends, that's in the hymnal. It was written in the 1700s. So we join in a Wesley way by singing our first song this morning, verses 1 and 4 of Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. take you back to your childhood. Yeah. Let us pray. Join me. Holy, creating, and creative God, we sing from the depths of our sorrow. We sing from abundance of our joy. We sing in voices separate and unique. We sing with one voice as a body. May the words of our mouths, whether speech or song, and the meditations of our hearts, whether in prose or poetry, be pleasing in your sight. Amen. You may be seated. Good morning. It is an exciting morning with all these different hymns, and I'd like to introduce the, the first two that we're going to do here together. First of all, Hymn of Promise was written in 1986 by Natalie Sleep. Many of you, including it's myself, new. this was one of those hymns of my childhood. The hymn holds a sense of wonder and joy and recognition of the greatness of God in all creation, God's design for this world and for the promise of each of us. We will follow him of promise with Draw the Circle Wide, 
written in 1994 by Gordon Light, bringing to mind that a circle, all points are the same distance from the center and all are visible to one another. This song has become a call of unity during a time of controversy and division. Please join me in singing verse one of Hymn of Promise and then we will move into Draw the Circle Wide. Praise the Lord. How good it is to sing praises to our God. How pleasant and fitting to praise God. The Lord builds up Jerusalem. God gathers the exiles of Israel. God heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. God determines the number of the stars and calls them each by name. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. God's understanding has no limit. The Lord sustains the humble but casts the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with grateful praise. Make music to our God on the harp. For the word of God in scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us. Thanks be to God. Amen.
I'd now invite the children to come forward during the next song, Here I Am, Lord. That's a good one, isn't it? So, it's a hymn sing. So we have to have fun songs for you guys. How many of you on the stairs know John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt? Come on up, Rach. When I was a kid, and I have a very vivid memory of being in, the, in front of the front pew at Vacation Bible School the first time I heard John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. And it's one of those songs that just makes me smile and takes me right back to my childhood. So as we were looking at the songs for the kids for this week, I thought, if they don't know it, they have to. Because it's such a significant song for me from my childhood. So let's all stand a minute. Um, John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt was written in the, was it 1700s? I I know it wasn't a Charles Wesley, but (laughs) it uh, it was an important one. My, it didn't take the picture. Well, I can tell you, it was written in the 1700s, 1800s. It was really popular in the 19th century, and it's sung in both Canada and the United States. Amen? Amen. So we should get it to become a worldwide tradition. Um, we'll work on that at the next Methodist conference. So, so it starts out with John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. His name is my name, too. Whenever we go out, the people always shout, there goes John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. Na, 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 na. You you good on it, Megan? All right. You know it? You sing it in camp. Awesome. All right. So we're going to sing it, and we're going to ask, we're going to ask them to stand and sing it with us. What do you think? 
Out of your seats, friends. Yes, Kate says it's an earworm when I start singing it, so let's sing it. And, and each time you sing it, you either get more low and quiet or you get louder and taller, okay? Ready? John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt, his name is my name too. Whenever we go out, the people will always shout, there goes John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. La, 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 la. John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt, his name is my name too. Whenever we go out, the people always shout, there goes John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. La, 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 la. Goes John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. Da, 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 da. You can be seated. Now, there's a couple of other songs. Megan, take it away, sister. That was my, my cue. The next two hymns are uh, favorites of the children of our church. This Little Light of Mine is an African American uh, spiritual that celebrates the birth of Jesus little light. The tune Latimer is named for Louis Latimer, a black invented inventor who worked on the electric light bulb with Thomas Edison. This little light will be followed by I am a Christian. See if you can keep up. <laughs> This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm going to let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Okay, are we ready? Yeah. I need all the kids to help. You gotta stand They're up. Yeah, stand up. They're really good at this one. Okay. 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 I am a C. I am a C H. I am a C H R A S T I A N. And I have C H R A S T in my H E A R T. And I will L I V E E T E R N A L L Y. I am a C. I am a C H. I am a C-H-R-A-S-T-I-A-N And I have C-H-R-A-S-T in my H-E-A-R-T And I will L-I-V-E-E-T-E-R-N-A-L-O-Y I am a C I am a C-H I am a C-H-R-A-S-T-I-A-N And I have C-H-R-A-S-T in my H-E-A-R-T And I will L-I-V-E-E-T-E-R-N-A-L-O-Y started school already? Nobody? Okay, so on Tuesday, day after tomorrow, and I hope you were able to keep your family living in the moment this last week, okay? I'll tell you later. Yes. You, you kept your family in the moment. You did the state fair. That is a moment-by-moment -moment joy. All right, let's pray. Oh, God, you love each one of us. We are all your children, every single one of us in here and those who are worshiping with us online. 
God, we pray for our kids. We pray for them going back to school this week, that they can sense the joy of learning or learn the joy of learning, that they can see other adults beside their parents living into their lives and bringing them joy, peace, hope, and most of all, God, your love. So be with them, be with the teachers, be with the administration and everyone involved. And all God's people said, Amen. thank you for your help this morning. You can go back. You can color. This is a poem called The Gift to Sing by James Weldon Johnson. Sometimes the mist overhangs my path and blackening clouds about me cling. But oh, I have a magic way to turn the gloom to cheerful day. I softly sing. And if the way grows darker still, shadowed by sorrow's somber wing, with glad defiance in my throat, I pierce the darkness with a note and sing and sing. I brood not over the broken past, nor dread whatever time may bring. No nights are dark, no days are long, while in my heart there swells a song, and I can sing.
please join me in singing our next hymn, number 437, This Is My Song. sing is number 77, How Great Thou Art. This song was the most requested song of the congregation for today. Written in 1953, it speaks of the grandeur of God in nature. Interestingly, surveys conducted by the Hymnal Revision Committee showed that among United Methodists, it was, of all hymns, both the most loved and the most disliked. <laughs> We share a time of prayer together. Our prayer requests this morning are from Gail Chalby. Prayers of thanksgiving that my daughter is now employed after being downsized in May. God is good, Lord in your love. Bart Reed. Prayers for joy in the marriage of Jessica Kretschmar and Daniel Brandt. Yesterday, here in this lovely church, and gratitude for all the congregation members and staff who helped make the wedding event happen. Lord, in your love and many, many hands of gratitude. From Christy, niece Julie Robbins just had an accident and is in the hospital. Lord, in your love. Deb Webster, brother is having family issues as well as medical needs. Please pray for Tim and their family. Lord, in your love. From Kate, my daughter B, as she starts her first day of third grade here at a new school in a new state. Lord, in your love. Ruth shares a prayer for those impacted by war, especially those right now in the Ukraine and Gaza, as we know it's been a tough last week or two for them. Lord, in your love. From Kim Palmer and Jim Kern, a joy. Today is their son Jackson's birthday. Thank you, God. May it be a year ahead filled with joy, good health, hope, 
for him and his family. Lord, in your love, if you would, please pray with me. Oh, gracious and loving God, in our time together, each of us carries prayers in our hearts and on our minds. May we take a moment of silence to lift those to you, God. God, we thank you for the love that was shown and, and the possibility of a dynamic wedding and marriage between Jess and Dan and the upcoming one next weekend with Masha and Kaya. God, we pray for those in our congregation, our families and communities with health and well-being. We thank you, God, for the volunteers and servers that worked so hard this week. God, we pray for those in our world that are dealing with strife, conflict, tribulations, hunger, and poverty. We pray for those in our country and in our community. And God, it's a blessing at this church that we have staff kids that come during the week. And those of us that will really miss them as they return to school, we pray for all of our kids, for the teachers and administration, for their care and safety and health. We pray for all the colleges that are restarting God. We lift our concerns to you, knowing that you are with them and that your power of love supersedes all things. And God, we carry those who have dealt with tragedies this last week and that your presence and power and underlying hope and care are something that is felt by them for them. God, we thank you. We thank you for your grace. Lord, we join together in the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray, saying, Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. I invite you to join with me in singing hymn 526, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we offered for that. Oh, what needless pain we bear. Oh, do not carry everything to God in prayer. Friends, we have exciting things coming up next week. I want to remind everybody to grab a card, bring it next week, put your name on it, and put it in for the drawing. We will have a rally day pop-up choir um, next Sunday on September 8th. High school and older will meet at 9 a.m. to learn a simple song of celebratory nature for our service next Sunday. Again, congratulations to Jess and Dan on their wedding yesterday. Please join us across the hall for a time of fellowship after worship today. And now receive this blessing. Please stand as you're able. Psalm 96 reminds us, sing a new song, all the earth. Sing with your heart, your mind, and your spirit. Be present and sing. Go now in peace and share God's love with everyone. Amen. <laughs>